Your destination is on the right. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm down here at uh, Palmerston Passage. This one here is a turbo boat ramp that you've seen so far. I've never been here before. Uh, very shallow water, and oh, look at the scenery in the background there. That's sick. But yeah, um, first time fishing in this uh, system. Well, not first time, but years ago, with soft plastic, yeah. Years ago, I came here, um, just fish at Bongaree. Unfamiliar with in here, how steep, how shallow it is, I've got no idea. You can see out of glare. But yeah, um, well, uh, the goal today is probably gonna go around the Bribery Bridge and see if I can get myself some nice fish there. I'm not gonna say it's a dew fish or not, but I'll give it a go and probably, uh, Try a lot of these little runoffs here. You know, there's fish jumping over there. I've got no idea what they are. Um, since being turbo, I think I've been here on the one on my comp uh, a few months ago uh, on the kayak. But that was in the in the creek there. I don't know what it was called. <clears throat> but out today, I really want to try. I want to target the Palmerston Passage. I really want my mate to come out with me today, Tony, but he's working unfortunately. So uh, it's a solo trip. But yeah, it's really sunny too, get some sunscreen on and uh, I'll shoot out and see if I can get, catch myself one, okay? Gonna start somewhere, right? I've got no idea where I am, but I am in uh, in, in Limbai Creek, I think that's what you call it. These are runoffs that you can see in the morning here. I'm gonna definitely give them a go later uh, when the tide runs out. It's still going in at the moment. Yeah, I'll probably stop here and look at what the bottom's like, and we'll look we'll on the left. GPS lock, not yet. Look at this, guys. Wow, that is a flattery. 
Funny country, definitely. I'm sure there's a flay sitting in there somewhere, hey. Spot luck, okay. Now you guys know I uh, <coughs> I catch a lot of flatties and brim and stuff, but um, you know I, I try and bring different contents. But I look on on uh, YouTube and everyone else. That's what you're catching the system, unfortunately. Flatties and brims. You know you get Jewfish and mango jack and stuff when you get when you get really specialized. But uh, I'm not specialized. <laughs> I'm just trying to explore more places as possible. So. Uh, that's why you're going to see me do a lot of different places that I've never fished you for and learn. That's what my uh, my thing is about at the moment until I get specialized. But yeah, fishing you fishing uh, in a brand new system you've never been to and just seeing what's there. That's what it's all about. So yeah, let's get uh, fishing. Incoming tide, not very ideal here yet, but outgoing tide, this would be ideal. But I'm sure there's something in there. First fish of the day. I was trying my glide bait all that time and it didn't, it didn't bite it, and so I took on my soft plastic. Look at what happened. Oh my god. Bloody hell. Why don't you take the glide bait, you bloody fish? Uh, what's the chance of pulling, pulling up this girl? Where's the hook? That's a big fish. Yeah. Oh, it's hooked on the side. It won't go anywhere. I'll land this one. Yeah, hooked on the side. It came and swiped it, and I came for the swipe, and I got it. Otherwise, I would have lost it. Because <laughs> I, I, I felt a, a, a bite on it, a tap, and then it just uh, went quiet. It's not hot. It's okay. He's gonna have a gummy, hey. <laughs> no one I ran so hard, it's not that big. Because I foul hooked it. Take a photo and let it go.
Awesome. That's probably like a 40, uh, well, 46, 47, 48, around there. Well, you really want to know. Yeah, 48 centimeters. That's what I came here for, guys. Awesome start to the morning. I'm just at the mouth of um, Ellenbuck Creek and all these little islands here. So yeah, I'm hopping around here and I'm getting the fish. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> what are you all, guys? I've been here for the last half hour, 245 minutes. Got my one flatty only. The mouth of Limba Creek there. Uh, today is not really to go one into one creek and, and explore it. We really want to be over at the mouth of them or in the, in the passage only. So next one I might shoot down to uh, back out towards Ningi, Ningi Creek. One of my mate uh, wa, uh, on Facebook showed me to go there. So uh, yeah, might try and go there and maybe along the way if there's any drop off, I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna try and keep you out of the sun, eh? <laughs> but yeah, let's get going. I got one, but I. I don't think it's a pike. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I was just driving down an Inca Creek and I noticed there's a. What's that? Is that a tailor? Oh, wow, the tailor. And I noticed there's a, there's a drop off over there. Tyler today. There you go, Tyler. And the whole production uh, prawn. What's the legal size for a Tyler? Is it 35? You sure? Queensland, 35 centimeters. Holy sugar, that's legal. Yep, truly legal. Kill. Cool. Well, guys, that's my first legal for the day. Nice tailor. I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, um, whole production is prawn. I've had that in uh, my. Uh, I had it in my uh, tackle box for a while. I've only just started using it. Reason being, I've seen a lot of guys complain about the um, about how gulp Berkeley, sorry, how Berkeley was uh, copying them, and uh, they asked us. A lot of people asked for YouTubers to really come together and help them out. And I thought, hey, yep, why not? Pull it out and use it. And there you go, my first fish. Awesome. I think it's a flatty. Jeez, this whole prawns are going nuts. What is that? I thought it was a flatty, but it's it's running a bit like a tailor. Jeez, give me a bit of curry. Oh dear. Oh, it's a tailor. It's a big tailor.
<laughs> Ay la. <sighs> so is that Taylor? I think it's photo time with this guy, hey. Well guys, we're at the mouth of Ningi Creek. There's a lot of people fishing here. But they're fishing on that side more. Well, I'm gonna tail this drop off. I can see in here in on my, my polarized glasses. I can see there's a deep bit and it drops in. So I'm gonna work my, work my way up this bank. That's the plan anyway. Um, first up, spot luck, and we'll pep us in the area and then we'll start moving up. Okay. Ah! Dropped him. <laughs> Pike, there goes my lower. Bloody pike. <laughs> He's gonna drop scales in there too. Fine, you can have my lower. <sighs> well, guys, I've been fishing the Ning Ning Ningi Creek mouth all the way down in here. There was heaps of people and they're all gone. It's gone quiet. Maybe because the tide has gone low or what, I don't know. That mountain over there, the harbour, looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to shoot in first, I'll see if I can find myself a little creek or something. Some creek runoff or something, and then, and then I might shoot out there. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty quiet. the harbour so I'm hoping I'm rushing out through this area that's a crash probably a flathead sitting out here uh, so sorry for the background noise guys the wind's actually picked up after this uh, little bit here at the harbour I actually tried trawling in for a little bit and there was no luck so uh, I I went out and tried again at the I uh, went to a new spot, Bullocks Creek, the mouth there. Never had much luck. Spent the next four hours um, peppering all the way in and then ordering out all the way out, and uh, took a bit of time to have my uh, lunch as well while I'm at it. And then as the tide started changing, fish started biting again. What is it? A brim? Huh. There you go guys, finally. After two hours I land a brim. <laughs> Kiss and goodbye. Well. There you go, it's gone. <laughs> I, can, I can assure you the flatty was not there before. This tide is bringing it in. I peppered all of this before on the way in. I'm at the mouth here. I was all the way in there, peppered all the way in there. and I So I can assure you that flatty was not there. Where'd they go, hey? Just changed now. Um, before I had a flathead in, I uh, dropped it. If I saw uh, either a or not, I got a rim as well. So I just started biting now. I feel it. So, uh, yeah, I think this is the last leg now. There should be heaps of uh, flathead and stuff coming. Fish coming on. Finally, eh? Nice diving as well. That'd be awesome. But anyway.
anyway. Let's uh, get some more fish on board. Here's one. Yep, flatty. Tie change. Tie change finally did it. Oh, it's... oh. Naughty fish this one. He's had a go at my leader too, eh? Photo, mate. You can go. That's a photo you can go back, okay? This is. Yeah, I've got a 40, 45 around there. Cool. Finally people, go on. Okay, see you buddy. Go on. Check my leader because it was in his mouth. Yes, it's very, very thingy there. I need to tie it again. Good one. That one is on a Holt swim, swim run. Little guy. Tiny. There's a lot of fish going on nuts here, eh? Thanks, Taylor. Okay, thank you. Bye. Another funny. Another biggie. Guess what got that guys? <laughs> Our production um, swim prawn again. Awesome. Be nice, okay? I got <laughs> slung up my deck, mate. <laughs> cool. Let this guy go. Let me lift up at this time. Uh, 
Okay. There you go, guys. Pick one. Yeah. Awesome, flatty. Sun's about to set. I've got only uh, another hour, maybe. But yeah, thanks, baby. Uh, cool. Another one. It's a very small flatty. Is it small? Oh, it's not small, small, but it's okay. Thank you. Uh, quickly, quickly. Because of sunlight. I'm losing sunlight really quick. Another one. Pretty sure I, I got one, I dropped it, and then this one came and grabbed it. So there's a few down there. Oh, I'm going nuts. Let's bite me. Oh. Yeah, I noticed uh, I noticed up there where I was catching before, the water got into the shallows too quick, and I couldn't, fa couldn't follow it fast enough. So I can chose this bit here, which I know is was deeper before, and um, it takes low, lower for the slower for the water to go into the mangroves. And there was a drop off here, so I'm fishing right on the drop off. And yeah, first cast, bang! I got it on and it let go, and then another one grabbed it. So yeah, keeps the fish along here. Mind you, today this this knotty snotweed is pissing me off. Eh? I had to deal with these all day. So annoying. This was a brim, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> pulls so hard. Well guys, it's getting dark now, this is my last uh, last fish today, I don't know why it's so yellow and yucky looking, but yeah, oh, it's kind of yellow, Pretty unusual, see right there, that's what I'm catching on most today, almost everything is catching and caught on it, except for one, yeah, the, the first flathead I think I caught, it was, it was on this, but uh, everything else. Go. Yeah, give that a go, go. Uh, give that a go, guys. It's Australian made. Um, I saw a lot of people say, uh, you know, they've been, been done bad by another company, so I thought I would uh, give it a go. And uh, yeah, works perfectly. I didn't realize. I had all this time. I didn't realize that the lakes did the swirly thing. But today I unused it and I loved it. So. Uh, you probably see me use this very often, very more, uh, up, more often. Um, anyway, I'm panicking because <laughs> it's getting dark now, and I need to be out of here quickly because I'm unfamiliar with this territory, with the waters. Um, but yeah, I got to run back now. Uh, new, new lure, new area. Never fish here before in my life, so very, 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 very awesome. But uh, how could I manage that? But yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave it now and rush back to the boat ramp. Thank you for watching. If you do like my video, please give me a big thumbs up. Okay? And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I'll catch you the next one. Bye-bye.
nasty looking ramp. Jeez, my God. Wow. See this thing? 